on, you. We'll go and walk it. Oh, I've just seen the time. You're going to be like... No way. What? They're identical. Peanut killed Silver Chinchilla. I was avenging her death. It turns out Peanut didn't bite Hope after all. I knew it. Well, apparently it was some horrid, stupid prank. A prank? She is definitely going to be punished. How? Down to me and Tyrone, isn't it? How dare you lie about my Peanut? You've not even apologised. My Sill is dead. Your stupid little dog's still alive. It's Beth. She slapped my face. If Hope would just apologise, we'll be on our way. Hope said that you slapped her in the face before. I did no such thing. Beth isn't violent. No, he's peanut. She's lying. I can't believe you'd even ask that. Beth said she didn't do it. Well, she did. I'm not making it up. Oh, and tell us exactly what happened. What's the point when you've already decided I'm lying? No, we haven't. Just, please, just sit down. Damon said I've got a really good ear. Ah, now I know why you've been narky with Damon. Sam's hero worshipping him and you're jealous. Jealous as if. <laughs> you sure you don't want to get there? The answer is the same as it was last time. No, I will not cut you in, and no, I will not get off your patch. Right, what is it with you and him? Every time I mention his name, you go all weird. Oh, don't. There you go, madam. Oh, jeez. Right, whatever you're doing, you need to stop. It's gone five, so you're on my time now. And I can't wait to get to this wedding fair and see what they've got. I hope it's not too posh. You watch, everything will cost a bomb. Yeah, let's finish these and then I want to go and try on some wedding dresses. Come on, Chef! <laughs> we ride into our wedding on horseback. Well, we all need to keep it simple, you know that. We could ask Jenny if we could use the Rovers. I suppose. Yeah, we're thinking sometime in May. Daniel and Daisy's wedding's in May. Oh, don't want the same day! <laughs> Half the street will be at their wedding. It means we won't have to pay for them. Max has pleaded guilty. Yeah. I know, I saw it online. Why can't you just plead not guilty, you know? Give yourself a chance. Oh, oh, sorry. I know it's not your fault. I know you didn't teach Max to think like that. Well, these things aren't always easy to spot. Well, they'd be easier to spot if I shouted less and listened more. I love you too. Bye. I like to think it was too soon. I thought I'd be shacked up with someone by now, maybe couple of sprogs. <laughs> I didn't know you wanted kids. Yeah. There'll be other wedding fairs. Promise, I'll come to the next one. I won't have to know on my own. Christina and Jenny are gagging to come along. You want to be grateful I'm coming along today. If I left her in charge, you'd probably come back with some massive nylon meringue. Uh, I beg your pardon? I think you should tell Daniel. The first thing he'll do is tell me to stop posting. If I delete social media, I'm going to lose out big time, as in no free stuff for the wedding. Boo-hoo, poor me. Evil Jenny Bradley stole my man. I am sick to death of the pair of you. I am going to that wedding fair on my own. Your fiancé is here. You look absolutely beautiful. I do not want to be with you. I need you to go before I call the police. And I die for you. It's the look in his eye when he's talking to you. He totally believes the things he's saying. I think it's best if I just stay away till closer to the day. Is that him? He's done this on purpose, so he's got an excuse to be on the street all the time. <laughs>